Hi, I'm Kenji. Welcome to Japanese Mindset. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about Japanese souvenir culture in the business context. If you travel abroad, would you buy souvenirs for your PA and other work colleagues who are still in the office? Or it may not be a work trip, it could be a holiday or even a honeymoon, would you get souvenirs for them? Imagine you have a visitor in your office for, coming from another city, a vendor coming from Manchester uh, to visit you in London, for example. Would they bring souvenirs for you? The answer would be yes, if these situations take place in Japan, on all counts. Souvenirs are all too important in Japanese social occasion. If you are a Japanese person traveling to see a relative or a customer, you will likely to buy a souvenir for them before you get on to the train. Visit a train station in Japan and you will find all these little shops selling boxes of locally made sweets that are ideal as gifts. These are individually wrapped in the box for ease of distribution in the office. I guess Tokyo Station has hundreds of, of those souvenir shops always packed with business travelers. When I worked in Osaka, I would often visit Silicon Valley on business. My colleagues and myself always brought back things like macadamia nut chocolate from Hawaii. We were in California. You must show your effort. It counts a lot to show your effort in Japan. Even if you go on honeymoon, you'd buy a little gifts for your colleagues as a token of appreciation of their effort while you were away. You've inconvenienced them because you were not at your post. I know someone who works for a Japanese company uh, here in London. Uh, she uh, would uh, look for souvenirs when traveling on holiday even in places like the Greek islands and the Caribbean. Her non-Japanese colleagues replicated the, this practice. When they visited uh, Japan, they would uh, bring back goodies like Hello Kitty, Kit Kat. This custom was a bit of a cultural e export. Recently, I worked with a, a Japanese client in Oxford. The two gentlemen uh, were from Tokyo and were visiting UK for a meeting with their British business partner. As soon as we uh, exchanged hellos, uh, one of the two said to me, uh, is there any place in town where I can get souvenirs? I thought he's a jolly good fellow, a family man uh, looking to buy something nice for his wife or children. Or maybe he's looking for tea or biscuits for his work colleagues. But he said he wanted uh, gifts for his British business partner. Uh, he was just going to see that morning. He bought Japanese biscuits as gifts in Haneda airport, but lost them on the way. He probably left them in the airport or on the aircraft. He and his boss felt obliged to make it up for the loss. You can't just turn up empty-handed. This is deeply rooted in the Japanese psyche. People build relationships through exchanges. It's a bit like this maybe, if you are in Britain and are meeting up in a group, you're likely to take turns buying rounds. This is a subtle way of bonding with people. If you are not Japanese, you're not expected to be part of this gift-giving ritual. But this little anecdote gives you an insight into how Japanese build relationships. Thanks for watching this video. I'm Kenji Nagoshi.